People cannot afford their car loans. They can't pay it back. And we are in the middle of a big issue we hadn't seen in the financial crisis. You came here for the truth. So let me unveil that for you. Car loans are a big one because that pile has been growing. The debt has become unaffordable. And right now it's getting more difficult to even get that cash. Let me explain what I'm talking about here. Car loans haven't been this hard to get since August of 2020. Even consumers with healthy finances are struggling to secure approval for automobile purchases as lenders tighten their standards because look at the cost associated with it can you believe it all right you, you got to understand this like the uh, i'm going to show you it uh the data is there but the cars are costing more people are financing them over longer periods of time and of course the interest rates on those vehicles are higher than they had been for a while and this is the result new car inventory has exploded higher new inventory is now up 47% from last year. So we went from this crazy, remember 2019, I was doing videos here on this channel. We have this oversupply of vehicles. There's way too many. I remember the article, we don't know where to put them. We, the, the lots are full. We have no place to put these things. There were ships that were holding onto cars and they were just sitting out in the middle of the ocean. They didn't have a place to put them. Then 2020 comes in. Suddenly we need car. We have no cars. We have no car. We have no car. No, no. Now we now we have cars, but we have no semiconductors. Okay, and now we have too many cars again. You know that all of this is contrived, is manufactured, and when you see these other YouTubers out there, they bring these facts to you, and they forget to mention the fact that all of these things it's artificial scarcity or you know in some cases here it's just nonsense that they try to bring data to you and forget that there's so much more going on like yeah this is happening now but what was happening a year ago what was happening five years ago three years ago whatever let's always keep in mind that you know as we go through cycles where we are at Keep that in mind, please. So important. For reference, new car inventory is up 195% over the past 30 months. So, I mean, it's ridiculous. So it depends on where you look. I'm just pulling data from multiple sources and you see it for yourself. Crazy, right? Oh, we didn't have, we don't have enough cars. Where are all the cars? Oh no, we don't, we need semiconductors. Now everything's fine. There's more than enough semiconductors, apparently. There's more than enough vehicles, apparently. Uh, prices haven't come down, by the way. New car inventory is rising fast. February started with 80 days of vehicle new vehicle supply, the highest level since June of 2020. Expect the deals to sweeten up for most brands. We'll see. This is a reputable, um, this one here, car dealership guy. You can see that for yourself. I, I've pulled some data from him before. New vehicle average transaction price. Okay, it's come down off the peak, but the peak was crazy to begin with. We did see a little bit of that going on in 2020. Uh, that's new vehicles, used vehicles had more of the spike. That was ridiculous. Um, but anyway, yes, we've come off the peak. Hopefully that will come down and, and go back to it at the very least back to trend line. Most stuff doesn't though. So you know that the prices that people are paying is just, oh my goodness, it's ridiculous. And they're getting away with it. All of these manufacturers, it doesn't matter if it's a European vehicle, it doesn't matter if it's, a, if it's you know built in the United States, Canada, what have you, Mexico, it, it's getting crazy. Auto loan access declines. This is just showing us that data connected with the uh, first article. The ability of consumers to get car financing is at the lowest level since 2020. And that is, it, it, Okay, so first of all, should people be paying the absurd prices that they have been for these vehicles? In my opinion, no. I think it's very, very expensive. I've heard some examples of people that I know, and they'll say the price of their vehicle, how much they pay for a lease or whatever, and it's just mind-boggling. I'm just like sh shocked, truly shocked, okay? Um, but this tells us something that's going on. Because they could have got it before, now they can't. So what has changed is the amount of debt. 
There's just too much debt. And the banks are saying, we have loan loss provisions. We, we have a rainy day fund, but this is too much. Okay, so that's where the issue becomes really big. Car owners are underwater by the most since 2020. Negative equity is rising as Americans grapple with higher interest rates. So that is just showing us how much truly the average negative equity, I mean, $6,000, and it doesn't seem to be stopping anytime soon unless they start heavily cutting interest rates and things change. You could see the, um, this is just showing us the new auto loan, okay? So it's a 60-month loan, depends on, of course, the, the duration there, but this is at 8%. So if people are going to borrow at 8%, well, then that car becomes more like a mortgage payment, right? It really is for a lot of people because it's high interest. And then, of course, you're not paying it over 30 years. You're paying it over a shorter period of time. So that payment is mass. I've seen some crazy examples. And then we have the new car loans amount financed, which has exceeded $40,000. So people are financing $40,000 for their vehicle. Then you got to pay that off over, is it five years? Is it, you know, however long? And that is going to be a considerable sum. Suddenly they can't afford it anymore. And then we have this British Columbia and Ontario mortgage holders increasingly missed payments in Q4. So just all along, I'm just showing you this US, Canada, Europe, everywhere else, same issues going on. The conditions right now are worse than they have been. And it doesn't mean that tomorrow they could simply flip a switch and everything's going to be fixed because if they start cutting interest rates, let's say tomorrow they cut interest rates, that's 25 basis points. Then another one, and then another one. They only do so many of these, unless it's an emergency, they only do so many rate cuts. So even into next year, if we get a few, let's say we get three interest rate cuts this year, and then in next year we get a few more. All right, that's fine, that's great. But know that we are still elevated from where we had been at that 0% interest. So it's going to be a lot of more pain for people you got to get your debt situation handled do everything you can to pay down your bad debt and start to accumulate as best you can in, in terms of assets do what you can if it requires you to get outside your comfort zone now is the time i know you could you could have said to yourself i should have bought bitcoin when it was one dollar but don't do that don't beat yourself up. Today is the day when you have to take action. If you want more advice, if you want more information, I have my two programs that I have. Business Live, which is on Sunday where I teach people to make money online, build a geographically diversified business that is unlike anything you've seen before. Join me, link in the description. I've got the Finance Friday as well. Hit that thumbs up button on the way out. I thank you for being here. And of course, as always, find me tomorrow, the Money GPS. I'll see you then. Take care.